Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you might care about. And with that being said, let's jump right on into the news. First thing I talk about when there is something to talk about in regards to it is sponsor news. And this week we have a ton of sponsor news. The first thing there is a video from Mutiny called New Blood and it features Logan Penberg. And judging by the thumbnail, I'm sure you can see that this dude rips and I'm sure that all you need to see to want to watch the video is the thumbnail where he is rail riding down the rail at El Toro and I promise you'll enjoy the rest of the video because it is just as pedal to the metal as the thumbnail is. Then after that we've got another awesome welcome video from a company that I honestly didn't even know was still around until recently and this is Brandon Steele's welcome to proper video. I've seen proper here and there on Instagram and the fact that they're adding new people to their team means that they have to be active which is pretty cool. This one has Brandon riding the streets set to an English rap song that fits the writing quite well. After that, we had a We The People Dan Banks welcome video, as well as Casey Starling's Welcome To Merit's Pro Team video, and the news that Julian Ortega was bumped up to the Pro Team for Sunday. After that, we can move into the contest in jam news from this week. And the first thing that I want to talk about here is the Hot Wheels Junior Series at Woodward East. This is the second to last stop of this series with the last stop going down at Woodward West this weekend. This contest series has traveled the entire country pretty much just in these last two stops alone going from Pennsylvania all the way to California and it is a great indication that the future of BMX is in good hands and I honestly wish that this contest series got more light than it did as far as core BMX and BMX media goes because whoever organized this contest series did it right park, street, and a mini ramp contest at the Woodward stop alone for everyone, boys and girls under the age of 16 shows that just about everyone possible is included. And the more light shined on something like this and the more reach for a contest like this, the better. After that, we had the 2018 Caddy Posh Women's Weekend Jam video uploaded. And that brings us to the videos from this week. There are a few of them that I really wanna talk about with the first one being Curtis Cantwell's Sponsor Me Tape. This one features BMX and Heelys in the same video. Yes, BMX and Heelys in the same video. And obviously this was supposed to be a joke, but for whatever reason, they went together very well and there is some seriously awesome stuff in this video creativity wise and just stuff that you probably wouldn't even think is possible and remember the guy from a few weeks ago who crashed and knocked himself out dropping in off of the gigantic arch this is that guy it might sound like a dumb concept but i promise you'll be entertained watching this video after that we had the sunday versus germany video and with a stacked team like the one that sunday has you know that you're not going to be disappointed by this video which i was not and i think the coolest part about this is that everyone on the sunday team rides just a little bit different and no one rides the same way the range from the most different rider on the team to the opposite side of the spectrum is huge here and it just means that at every spot they go to everyone can do something different and bring something different to the table and it made for an awesome video beginning to end that i thoroughly enjoyed and i think you will too from there we had a video claiming the world's longest nose manual and this comes from a dude named david dudeless hopefully i said that right this one is just pure awesomeness i honestly feel like finding the perfect place to do a nose manual this far is almost as hard as doing the nose manual itself because you got to have something that isn't too steep but isn't too flat and it seems like it worked out perfectly he did a nose manual for over a minute and it has to be some kind of record i think it would be super awesome if you took all of the nose manual gods of bmx 
and put them at this one spot in one day just to see how far they could take it and who could get the furthest nose manual. Either way though, this one is awesome and David did a great job with it. Then we've got Chris James in California. Chris is one of the guys that's been participating in the Vans BMX Pro Cup and literally every single run, every single time at whatever park they are at, this dude is cranking as hard as he can and going as absolutely fast as he possibly can every single run and the dude goes extremely high giving people like Larry Edgar a run for their money but because he's on full send 110% of the time it usually led to some sort of slip or loop out and that kind of had me wanting to see what he could do if he was given more time and not put under the pressure to be consistent as possible within a 60 second run this video is exactly that it basically feels like you take the best parts of his runs and put them together in a video at a bunch of different skate parks and I would say that there can never be enough people who crank as hard as they possibly can all of the time while they're riding. And then for your first creative dose of awesome this week we've got a video from Declan Murray called Gypsy from FBM. This one is chock full of creative stuff that you probably have never thought of but will definitely keep you entertained from the beginning to the end. End. And after that, the last video I want to talk in depth about this week is one from Red Bull called Riding Thrones. Basically, the concept of this video is a behind the scenes documentary type video where they talk to this rider and photographer who set out to take pictures at the locations where they filmed the Game of Thrones TV show. Literally, they went to Ireland where they filmed Game of Thrones. And basically what this is, is the dude took some super amazing landscape shots while also having a BMX rider in them doing a trick. It almost looks out of place, but they did it so well and matched the tricks and the spots and just how they did it so perfectly that it looks natural and I personally think these are the coolest BMX photos I have ever seen. If you are even remotely interested in photography or BMX photos, this is a must watch for the week. And with that being said, that's the last video I wanted to talk in depth about. As always, there's a ton of other videos that are worth talking about and watching. So I'm going to list through those right now. The first one is a 2018 video featuring Bora Altintas for Haro. Then we've got Sergio Leos in a one minute line. Then a video with Darren Oatley from Fit and BMX Direct. Direct, followed by a hometown edit from Carl Pointer and a video called Vans and Cult. Then we've got a video called Doomed, Are We Having Fun Yet? That's 16 and a half minutes long featuring Sam Jones, Jordan Goodwin, Felix Prangenberg, and Jordan O'Kane. And that brings us to the products from this week. The first one is a promo video with Ty Morrow and he's talking about the tibia cranks. This is a quick promo at not even a minute long where Ty talks about why he chooses the tibia cranks cranks and it has some riding footage mixed in as well. Then we've got probably my favorite video of the week featuring Eric Elstrand and his 2019 signature EX Complete from Sunday. This is exactly what happens when you have a company like Sunday putting their trust in one of the most creative riders in BMX to make their own promo video for their own complete bike. It is seriously awesome to see how much stock companies are putting into their riders and the complete bikes that represent these riders and this is just another shining example of it that I absolutely love. This is definitely a must watch for the week and it is only a minute long so why not watch it anyways. After that we have a video called Assets featuring Matt Cordova from Demolition. It's a promo for his MC seat which is inspired by an old motorcycle seat that I have to say looks pretty comfortable and Matt's riding is always entertaining to watch. After that we've got the release of the Odyssey Antigram V2 hub, which when you compare it to the V1, the specs are all exactly the same, but when you compare it visually, you see a difference on the non-drive side flange, also in the cone spacer on the non-drive side, probably to make use of the same hub guard that slides on that they use on the Odyssey clutch free coaster, which they are advertising as the same on the site. Then we've got Boyd Hilder's California Venture from Volume. This is kind of a promo, kind of an edit 
edit, but because they put his venture frame at the end of the video, I stuck it in the product section. It's got the same awesome riding that we've come to see and enjoy with Boyd from his Vans BMX Pro Cup appearances. And I gotta say, I really enjoy watching this dude ride. Then we've got a video from Cinema about their new stealth seats. Basically, it shows Cinema's new stealth seat designs as well as how to install them. And that brings us into the interviews portion of this week's news. The first one is from the Imprimatur BMX podcast, and this one features Rob Dolecki talking about BMX media. After that, we had another BMX in our blood podcast, the 50th episode of this podcast featuring Van Homan, which I've got partially into. I've got to say that every single BMX rider out there needs to hear at least the first half hour of this podcast. And I'm sure that you're going to want to hear the rest of it after you hear the first half hour. I've only got about that far in. Then we've got the Rollback Podcast, this time with Ryan Nyquist. I did finally finish one of these before recording this week's news. This is a good one to listen to as well. They talk about the Olympics and Ryan's aspirations for the Olympics and his goals and what he's trying to make in the future and some philosophical philosophical stuff as far as ideals in BMX goes. And all in all, it was a great listen. Then we've got the Space Brothers podcast featuring Matt Copeland, which is sure to be another good one as well. And finally, a Jared Duncan bike check from Sunday, which I featured in the interviews portion because the way I look at it, a bike check is kind of like an interview and there was no other bike checks this week. So there it is. Check it out if you care. There's links to that in every single other thing that we've talked about this week in the description below in the order that it was talked about. And that brings us to the end of this week's BMX news. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below, as well as let me hear your favorite story of the week or what you thought about anything that happened, videos, products, interviews, anything like that. Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below as well. Come out with this BMX news video every Friday at or before 4 p.m. if I can. I know it's late this week. I'm sorry. I also make a tips and tricks video every Tuesday and put up other types of riding videos and streams throughout the week. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.